My name is Alex Wakefield, Synopsis Scientist, focusing on emulation power. Increasing amounts of application software and growing chip size has put an increased focus on the power performance trade-off for many customers. Designs dynamically adjust the voltage and frequency to achieve optimal performance while staying within the power and thermal envelopes. This increase in software content is driving a shift left in power optimization using real workloads from first silicon to pre-silicon. The only way to measure, analyze, and optimize this power with firmware is to run realistic workloads. And the only way to do that effectively in pre-silicon is using hardware emulation. This means we have to run a very large number of cycles with real software and analyze the power for this large workload all before tape out. We have a three-step flow, profile, analyze, sign off. The first step is profile. The profiler must run billions of cycles. To do this, the profiler calculates the power inside the emulation hardware itself, allowing workloads such as an OS boot and real application software to run. The goal of the profiler is to find interesting sections from the full workload, and these sections will be millions of cycles in size. The second step is to analyze the interesting sections with better accuracy than a profiler can provide. Multi-million cycle sections generate terabytes of data that's then processed by a cloud-ready power engine in Zebu Power. Combination of fast emulation and fast power calculation is a requirement for this step. The goal of the analysis step is to find interesting fragments within the test, a few thousands to a few hundred thousand cycles long, the needle in the haystack. The third and final step is to run trusted prime power tools for sign-off power on the correct test fragment. We invite you to take a closer look. <laughs>